Hello, I'm Lisel. I'm so excited because today I'm joined by Medina. Hi guys, welcome to hey. my channel. Hello, hello, hello. Were you in a band? <laughs> how, how did you know that? How did you how did you come up on that? I do my research. <laughs> oh Jesus. I okay, okay, yeah. I was in an all boy band uh, a few years ago. Can you share about working as a radio presenter? As a radio presenter? Yeah. Uh, you've been digging deep. Yeah. Uh, well I started out as a kid. I was really into that and I had my or I was uh, well a radio did you say producer? Presenter is the name, yeah. At uh, online radio shows. So um, I did that for a few years for different channels and Christmas channels. And I, w I had my own studio at home. And yeah, we're playing and had, had a lot, had a lot. Well, I can't talk too much. Had a lot of fun with that. Should I just swipe? swipe? It's like Tinder. I don't, I don't have, is it up? I don't know. Is it yes know. or no? <laughs> okay. To yeah. the left. Yeah. Uh, Ashley, mm. tell us about your song, Mr. Love. How in the world? <laughs> <laughs> um, I released that song back in 2015. Um, it was written by a friend of mine whose name is Jimmy Jenkins. He's really amazing. He's a, a movie uh, director now. What was the inspiration for the song Close Up? Wow, it's, it's so long ago too. Like, <laughs> it's so funny to get all these questions because I was not ready for any of them. Which <laughs> I'm not supposed to be ready for the questions. I love it. You guys are doing such a great job. Um, okay. And um, okay, so the inspiration. Well, the inspiration was just like, um, you know, like you just want to get a closer look of someone. <laughs> you know, like. Alvaro, yeah. you used to release music under the artist and Paul Brown. Oh. Why did you use that name? <laughs> I don't know for exactly. I don't know. I was a little kid. I was a little kid. Uh, but uh, it's, it's stuck on me L Brown oh my god oh my god <laughs> my research. yeah good 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 is it true that you have been an opening act for Mahombe in one of his tours <laughs> wow you know a lot of stuff <laughs> you've been digging uh, and yeah. yeah I did one show in oh my god <laughs> <laughs> What an awful picture of me. He still looks the same though. Uh, but no, it was in Norway. It was my absolute first gig ever. Ali, what yeah. inspired you to start your studio and label West Bricks Music? Oh, ho, you done your research. <laughs> Everybody knows that. I always, I always want to have a label. Like I always wanted to have a place where I can have my creative uh, zone and like put some people in it. It's always been like that. They had stay crown before. We had loads of names. Yeah, you got pages. Got pages. You got pages. Tell us about the radio station you started. Oh, so there is a radio station um, playing in the frequencies uh, of ninety four point seven in uh, DRC Congo, um, and it's my radio station. Uh, I started this radio station because I wanted to build a platform for young people and mainly that's doing the urban urban music, young popular music in Congo right now, in Africa in general, and in the world. Mm -hmm. Something for the young kids, uh, something where uh, they can feel like this sense of belonging uh, and where nobody would ask them to pay money to play their songs. You were into Marie Picasso at Karslaget. How did you end up that show? <laughs> <laughs> you had to find that, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you have a picture! <laughs> I don't think people can guess which one is me. <laughs> Victor, have you ever lost Eden in a, a crowd and then found him because you heard him laughing loudly? <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's hard to miss. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> even in the arena, you can like. Just, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's iconic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Robin, what inspired you to apply for performing arts research and training studios? Oh yeah, that's a good. Um, they know their shit. Yeah, they know their shit. Research, yeah. research, <laughs> deep stuff. Yeah. Last time I was on here, I was like, oh shit, it's yeah. a question. It's like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> too much. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I I graduated high school, and 
I didn't really know what I was gonna do, um, but I had the feeling that I was still lacking in like the technical aspects of dancing. And I, Finis, do you know how to break dance? I used to. <laughs> yeah, I, he's a real good dancer. I, I still got moves. <laughs> <laughs> It do, it does. I'll bust the move It does. I'll bust the move here, I swear. That's just came from the bed. Sure. I've been fun of it. Can you tell us about Hey Gorgeous that was released by Nick Talos? How did you end up Ooh. being one of the songwriters? That's cool. I haven't I haven't gotten that question before. Uh, hmm. The uh, yeah, so this is a really funny story as well. I, I started working with a friend called Tobias. Uh, and we were in the studio writing music and and one day we were like okay and now I, I went into the studio I was like I have this idea of like singing hey gorgeous like singing to someone that you that you think is gorgeous and he just started playing the guitar and I was like hey gorgeous is it true that you used to have a big interest in soccer yes <laughs> <laughs> I started playing soccer when I was six years old and I always played a lot and that was maybe my first big interest. Hello? Yep. Uh, you release a song till the stars come uh, out. And <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good and research. Is it true that you used to create stop motion videos with Legos together with your brother when you were younger? Uh, yes, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's very true. Um, so we bought we've always built a lot with legos especially my brother and they had this uh webcam back in the day this is like 15 years ago or something like that that looked like a lego piece that you could actually still build mm. legos on <laughs> Nej, 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 alla var god. Kör bara. Kör, kör, kör. Nej, 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 nej. Det är bara en hel del During my research process, I found a clip of you and a guy named Joel performing mm. your own written song, If. What inspired you to start writing songs at that age? Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that was a long time ago. Uh, this is uh, me and my uh, best friend, Joel. Um, I play a lot with him. And uh, so this is actually the theme song to our uh, Football team. Tell us about uh, your duet with Anita Kristoffersson for the song Min and Man's Far. Oh my god, you went on that road? Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> uh, how do you know all this? No, there's no do my research. Oh my god, <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh god i okay i mean it's not it's not bad uh, it's no. uh, it's i think that summer i was like so uninspired to do music and then she reached out to me and was like do you want to do a song with me called the uh, minna and i was like yeah let's do it uh daniel is it true that you do frisbee golf yes oh. how did you get to that <laughs> <laughs> what I'm quite good, actually. <laughs> really what good. is frisbee golf? Don't you know? You play no. golf. A common sport in in Life. frisbee golf. In, in, no, but it's like it's like golf. The same rules. Yeah. You try to you go in on a course and you have like you try to do as less as few throw, as few throws as, few as, possible, throws as yeah. possible. So instead of a hole in the end, they have like a basket with chains. And what inspired you to get your degree in marketing and business economy? <laughs> oh my god, you've really done your research. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
I mean, music has always been what I want to do in life. But after graduating uh, from high school, my parents, they were like, Mel, we support you 100%. And they have always done that and they still do. Like, my parents are the best. Uh, but they were like, while working into the music business, don't you want to, like, study and I was actually like it was it was quite easy for me to choose what I wa wanted to study because marketing together with music I mean it's a perfect connection yeah. <laughs> you're getting you're getting the sign right oh now. my yeah. god, oh my god. Eight, yeah. 10 oh, well, nine, hello eight yeah. seven come on let's go <laughs> and what do you learn from being on fame factory wow <laughs> You know, I did never get into the house. I was rejected just before. Uh, that was one of my first time when I was on TV. Mm -hmm. And I was really afraid yeah. of that, uh, having cameras mm -hmm. in your face. And uh, I was a little bit shy. Um, but it was also exciting, but it was a really short journey, journey for me. Tell us about the song Weekend Tour. That was really spectacular. And where yeah. was this written and how did you end up being <laughs> on it? Um, so me and Marcus and, uh, and Jonas, we, uh, we made this song in English, actually. And then, uh, I don't know how, but we got in contact with this uh, uh, Toko, who is an amazing artist. Uh, Ellen, be so sure of this interview said you have a passion for cats. Is it true? Who said that? What? Wait, sorry. The research. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Well, I was like, who said that? Kevin. Well, Kevin Fever. No. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I've grown up with cats mm -hmm. in one and two and stuff like that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I know it, like cats a lot. Um, I My boyfriend says that I am a cat myself, so that we couldn't have a cat. Because, you know, <laughs> get jealous of like the cat getting the attention and then, like, yeah, then I'm like, a cat person, yeah. <laughs> personality-wise, um, I don't know about that. A couple of months ago, you got your bachelor degree in business economy, and now you're yeah. taking a master's degree in international marketing and branding. What inspired yeah. you to take these courses? You have so much info. It's, fun. it's hilarious. <laughs> no, yeah, that's true. Uh Thank you. Thank you. Now you're done, right? I'm done. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Nobody got in here and she yeah. threw her, her yeah. out. That's so, great, that's well, great. Well, well.